Hi, I'm Manny. And I'm Cheryl, and welcome to my sewing room. Last summer, my husband and I, we went on a fabric buying trip through the state of Utah. We went up the I-15 and visited various quilt shops along the way. I saw some beautiful stores. My last stop that I was at was called Elaine's Quilt Block. It's in Cotton Heights, which is a suburb of Salt Lake City. It was probably the most beautiful quilt shop I have ever wow. been in. Beautiful quilts, a wonderful selection of fabrics. But the problem was by the time I got there, I had pretty much blown my budget for buying any fabric. So I did buy a few things. So I'm gonna share those things with you now. This is Sonoma by Camilla Quilts. It's a pattern that you can purchase. It's three dollars and fifty cents and I wouldn't recommend this if you're a beginning quilter. This is I would say more of an intermediate level. I have made one similar to this and it was a it was tedious. There was a lot of work to this but the results are absolutely fantastic. So I just was thrilled when I saw this pattern. Now, there's no fabric included. It just is just the pattern. It's two-sided, tells you exactly what you need to do. So you really need to be a little bit more experienced if you're gonna purchase this. So, okay, now, I thought this was so unusual. Uh, I don't get out much, you know, cause I live way, way out in the middle of nowhere. So every now and then I gotta get out. And I found this, I thought this this was so cute. This is Quilt As You Go pre-printed batting. And so there are lines on the batting. It shows you where to stitch. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over so you can see the back. And there's instructions on this. Now, it's very similar to paper piecing. And if you've never done paper piecing, Click on the link in the upper right hand corner because I have a beginner's paper piecing video. So you can kind of watch that to see if you might be interested in this. I thought this was so cute and so, so adorable. So there again, this was $8.99, okay? Now let me show you some of the absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Okay, now this is called Roses and Arrows by Hope Yoder, and the name is appearing down there at the bottom of the screen. Now they had one of these finished up on the wall and it was just so pretty. I fell in love with it right away. Now, you can put a, a nice size border on it, turn it into a little lap quilt, or you can also turn it into a wall hanging if you would like to do that. Okay, now the prices on her fabric was high end because she carries very high-end quilting fabric. So uh, if you're a little more experienced, uh, you would probably want to invest in some of this nicer quilting fabric. Now this was really unusual. I don't know the name of this. I wish I did this. I thought this was so unusual. Let me show you one more that I thought was so, so pretty, okay? Really, really pretty. Uh, there again, it didn't have the name on it, but I just loved it. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure well, it out. Let's take a look at a short clip of those beautiful quilts on all those walls. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at all those beautiful quilts and give yourself a treat and visit a quilt shop in your area. Make sure you take plenty of cash too. Now, if you love this video, 
click on thumbs up and also click on share to share this video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen enter your email address and don't forget to click on that little bell so you receive future email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!